Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to the latest episode of Driveway Goals. Today I'm in London to meet up with my friend Tom, TGE, and check out his latest collection of cars. Hello everyone, I am Tom, or TGE as some of you know me as. Uh, I'm here to discuss my cars, so I have a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, which you can see over here. I have a Land Rover Defender, uh, Urban Automotive, uh, and I also have a Mini John Cooper Works. So here is my F12. Uh, it is in, finished in Nero Daytona, so that's black. Um, I've had full PPF put on it uh, by Dove Customs. Some of you may have seen that. Uh, it's got some nice extras. You've got some carbon bits on there. Uh, and I really waited a long time to make sure I got the right spec on the car. Uh, it's got these wheels. I don't know the name of them, but they're the nicer ones. I like them. Carbon center caps, major key. I love them. I always go on about them. Uh, got creamer interior as well with the Daytona seats. And yep, that's the F12. Lovely, love it. This is my Land Rover Defender. It is from Urban Automotive. It's called an Urban Truck. The base model is an XS90. It is a 2.2 litre diesel. It's a three door and it's a manual. It drives like a van, but I think it looks cool, and I really, really, really like it. I had a G63 before this, and I replaced it with that, uh, and I'm over the moon with it. I love it. There's also one more car missing from the party, and that is my Mini John Cooper Works. I parked that away somewhere else, not here. Uh, I use that as kind of my kind of daily runabout. It's a bit more sensible because that's borderline useless in traffic, and that's just ridiculous to drive around in. So uh, yeah, Mini is kind of my daily car. So we're going to go and get that in a minute. Uh, Tom, all right. Why are we in an M4? Uh, I have been given one for the weekend. I haven't bought it. Don't, don't worry. Chill. Considering that you have an F12 and a Defender that we, that I love, two yep. of like my favourite cars, yep. you decide that to go look at your Mini, we're going to go in an M4. I know how much you love them, so I thought we would treat you, mate. You know, you've been, you deserve a treat. And I'm going to try and not curb the wheel. Well, look at that. Also, Cal, Cal's in the car. Cal, give us a wave. So, uh, if you don't know, um, since our last filming together, uh, Tom has now started up a YouTube channel which is just like the end of YouTube, really, isn't it? <laughs> I am spoiling the platform for everyone, one video at a time. Um, right, what I wanted to get into, because I don't want to talk about this car, <laughs> awkward, um, before we get to the Mini, is a bit more about your car history, because two months ago, before I left for LA, you had almost a completely different garage or driveway. You had a Huracan LP... 580, the rear-wheel drive one, very important. Dash 2. Apparently it's the rarest car in the world, that's what I heard. Okay. Ask Paul, he'll, he'll verify that. Fine. So you had a Huracan rear-wheel drive and you had a G-Wagon. Yep. And in the last couple of months they've been swapped for an F12 and a Defender. Correct. Well, why? Why? Um, I had the Huracan, absolutely loved it, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Sure. Um, but I was at work one day and I started looking at F12s and within the space of a week I became obsessed with F12s. It's hard not to. And I started watching YouTube videos on them, uh, yeah, and I became obsessed within the space of a week. So okay. I agreed to part XE kind of selly kind of yeah get another one get an F12. I, I mean amazing it's so it freaking really, cool. It was really really impulse. Really but it's impulse. just hilarious that's yeah. what I'm saying like I left it and I came back and you're like oh yeah I got a load of different cars. <laughs> and but, the Defender why why the Defender and the G-Wagon swap? Um, oh, so the what G is that? I think it's telling you off for, oh no, it's fuel reserve because I've been driving like a div. Um, the Defender came about because I had the G63 for a year. Right. Um, and I wanted to mix it up and I wanted another 4x4. Fair enough. And I wanted something iconic, um, I wanted something timeless, and I wanted something that was solid residuals wise. The G63 I came out kind of flat on, I didn't lose any money on that. Okay. Um, so I wanted something I could hopefully do that again on, uh, and I wanted something grey. <laughs> you wanted something. What's really essential about this is the, the, was gray. next I car's grey. I couldn't cope with changing the colour, so I had to get another grey box. Actually, I've basically. just thought as well, like all of your cars are really monotone. 
Yeah, yeah. So the the F12 and the Hurricane, exactly the same spec, give or take. Black and Black, grey wheels, yellow calipers. Okay. And the G63 was a grey box. Okay. Uh, and replaced it. And with the, the Mini we're about to see is white. Uh, pepper white, mate. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, that's a nice paint job. You don't want a colourful car? Why don't you match your colourful personality? Uh, yeah. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Let us crack on to the Mini and we will check that out. And then I want to probe a little bit more into your car history because how anyone ends up with the garage that you have, I do not know. So here we go, the third item in my garage, Mini Cooper Works. It is a 2015, it's the new two litre turboed F-Series BMW engine, uh, so it's got slight more punch to the last one. I went for chili pack on it, which means you've got snazzy wheels, they're absolutely filthy, and looks like they're curved, but they're not. Uh, and also you've got bucket seats in there as well, so uh, fun stuff. I love it, it's great, it's my runabout, it's what I use most of the time. Uh, it's really, really good on fuel, if I can say that. Um, yeah, I love it, great car. So here we are, inside the Mini. This is, uh, well, I, I love that we're going out, or we went out on the M4, huh. um, but of your garage, we're going out in the Mini. But that is because this is your daily, right? Correct. And the car that you use the most. Even though I get the tube to work. Sure, so this makes sense that we go out in the car that you use the most, I think. Uh. So yeah, what I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to get from you, is previous cars, because when I first met you, you were cruising around in a very loud blue M3 convertible. Correct. Which you kept telling me was limited edition. LE500, clues in the name, mate. <laughs> there, was, there was probably about 500,000 of them. Yeah, sure, I do remember seeing quite a few. Yeah. What did you have before that? Before that, I had a Porsche Boxster 55 plate. Okay. And it was Boxster, nice. Did you have the beard with the Boxster? No, there was no beard say. at that point because I was unable to grow one, even worse so than, than now. Uh, yeah, I think I was like 20 one. maybe. Okay, a twenty and the box doing it as a twenty. But it, was man, it was a manual one, so I'm okay. forgiven on that. You're a driver. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. a true, true driver <laughs> in my tracksuit. Uh, and also it had the nice uh, nineteen-inch Carrera wheels and the sports exhaust. Okay, okay, nice. All the bits with it and bows. It was. Um, was that your first like sports car? Uh, yeah, it was. Okay. And before that, I had a Mini Cooper S. Oh, so we come all the way around. And, uh, we've gone full circle. I've regressed in more, more senses than one. <laughs> no, boxed I loved. Really good car. And really. what is quite cool is that the three that you've got now do kind of tick all boxes, I guess. Ferrari will come back to you. The Defender, obviously, I love. Slightly ridiculous for London. Yep. Central London driving. It's a, it's a farm mobile. Yep. How are you getting on with it? Um, <laughs> I, I was alarmed about how sparse it is inside. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How bad it is to it's drive. It's very basic. How noisy it is. Like, it's been sound deadened, but it still sounds like the door's falling off. Okay. Oh. But you love it, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, you it, can't. Yeah. I, I totally agree. It. They're awful things, yeah, but yeah. amazing at the same time. Even though I said that with the G Wagon, the, the G63 was about a million times more refined, but still terrible. Sure. I said it's a terrible car, it drives awfully, but yeah. But you I love, love it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it wouldn't change it for the world. Fair enough. And then the Mini, you know, I've been in this car with you a few times and it's just hilarious, this thing, right? It is good. It's, it is a go-kart, basically. It is a proper go-kart. And in London, I'm now learning with the Abarth, small cars for the win. Small, automatic. <laughs> All manual if yeah, you're man a real driver good. like Manual's me. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. First to second, back down to first. It's good. <laughs> the world is your racetrack. <laughs> That's the uh, motto I can have on the top of my license plate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then the F12. Now, the reason that we haven't gone out in the F12 today is firstly because it's you don't want to die. Yeah, more fun to go out in the Mini, and I don't want to die. Could still die. Uh, but Paul Wallace has made about three thousand videos, I think, on the F12. So for if we to head over to yeah, see we're all London, bored of it. <laughs> yeah, head over there to check I'm out that. It as well. I don't <laughs> yeah. want to see it. With it. But are you loving it? Because that, I think, that is such a step up from the Hurricane. Surely. Yeah, yeah. When I got in, I was like, this is just on another level. There's nothing wrong with the Hurricane at all. The car is absolutely incredible, and the price difference, like there, there is a big jump in price as well. So you can't, they're not like for like. I can't really sure. tell, but um, I'm just amazed how well the F12 does everything. Oh no, it's like level. yeah, it's like in comfort mode, it's like driving in Bentley, but then it's just it's ludicrous quick. Yeah. It's terrifying. I, you get like to the shift light number two, and then you just panic. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> it really upsets me that of all the people in the world, you're the person with such a good 
garage. I know, I'm spoiling it for everyone. Yeah, or oh, driveway. I should be saying driveway, this is driveway goals. You've got a fantastic driveway. Even I have no well, that's driveway, you, you, you no garage. Well, yeah, you, that's the thing is you don't have a driveway, which is why I keep forgetting the name of this series. But Scattered around the place? Yeah, scattered around the place, all over the place. I'm incredibly jealous. I do think you've nailed life, and that's why I kind of hate the fact that it's you that's nailed life. Yeah, yeah. I, am, I am pretty unpleasant. You are really unpleasant. Oh, man, you're just trying to kill cyclists as we drive through the I park. like cyclists. <laughs> okay. I was a cyclist for a number of years. Really? No, you were. I used to used to commute on a bike. Not into London when I had another job. I used to go every day on my bike. No, like the spandex and everything. Wear a helmet. Consumer advice from. And don't be a helmet like me. Hey. Can I say that? Yeah, I think so. Why not? You just did so. So there we go, uh, all three cars have now been caught on camera and we are now in a random street in the middle of nowhere because that's just how you uh, live your life, TG. <laughs> Thank you very much for today, make sure to head over and check out Tom's new channel. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up if you have and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.